Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Now, let me ask you, I wanna, I wanna, uh, that's a dope story, but let me ask you about NBA Youngboy because that's the one that I don't know how you guys' relationship is, the way he be looking at the camera when you see him, <laughs> the way he look, hey, say, the way the nigga look versus <laughs> yeah. the way the nigga rap versus yeah. who the nigga is. Yeah. Uh, it's a whole bunch of things going on with that for yeah. me. Now, I listen, look, I, I remember we was going to Chicago and I listened to his whole, you know, the whole way I listened to number NBA, I, yeah. I probably heard a bunch of your beats, to be oh, honest yeah, with sure. you. Cause I was just listening to Young Boy, and I was like, dang, this dude dope. But then when I see him, I'm like, damn, could I talk to this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, how, did yeah, yeah. how did you guys even meet, or how did y'all even lock, you know, hook up? Man, shout out to DJ Swift. So I was in college. Okay. In class, get a phone call from him, right? Ring. Hey, Doug, you in class? I was like, yo, I'm in class, what's up? He was like, step outside. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I step outside, he was like, bro, this guy named NBA Young Boy, he hard. I'm like, bro, I don't know who this is, bro. You know, he from Baton Rouge, he hard, bro. He really like what you doing. So I'm like, all right, bet. At the time I go on this page, he had 3,000 followers. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, work. all right, cool, you know what I'm saying? By the time me and him had the same amount of followers. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? So. I go look at his music. I'm like, sound like some like vintage like Louisiana Bootsy mm -hmm. Webby. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, all right, I'm finna make the beat. So I go right back in class, right? Put my headphones on. It's all you hear. So I get stopped. Oh, uh, Mr. Lockhart. Well, they actually, they call me Miami in school. Miami. Even professors too, Miami. I'm like, huh? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, uh, Assignment. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing notes. It was like, no, because we can hear the music in the headphones. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you're not going to be nothing in life by clicking on this laptop. I was like, dang. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was the most embarrassing thing. Like, you ain't going to be nothing in life clicking on that laptop thinking that the music going to take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I'm a history major, so I ain't in no music class. I'm like, I know he don't understand what I'm doing. So I'm like, all right, get out of class. Email to beat the DJ Swift. The next day, not even twelve hours later, video out on my almost had a million views. Woo! So That's I called Swift like, "Hey man, tell young boy, hey, let's do it again." He was like, "All right." So he was like, "Young boy said call him." So young boy called me with the little face, "Hey say," you know what I'm saying? He like, "Hey," he like, "Hey say," okay. like everything mm -hmm. you send it hard, you hear me? Everything you send it, you hard, gangster. <laughs> I'm like, "Yo," he was like, "Hey." Keep sending that fire, you hear me? Let's go up. I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> he doing you good. Yeah, like he doing though. good impersonation. Yeah, so I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sending the records or whatnot. I get a phone call from young boy. He was like, hey, say, gangster, where you at? I'm like, man, I'm in Tennessee. He was like, I need you to come to uh, come to L.A. So I get ready to go to L.A. I bring the whole team I got with me. Whole team come to L.A. And uh, one thing led to another. AI Youngboy comes out and we did almost 80% of that album. Wow. And that was like the beginning because I didn't, I never met him. We would always talk on the phone. Oh. Duh, what you think about this? This hard, you rock with this? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure. And we built that relationship and that camaraderie with each other. And then everything was just like, it was just up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and then we, one night, um, our Ain't Too Long came out. Okay. That album. So we going through, it's like midnight, we in Atlanta, right? Me, Mike, Laura, the whole team. So we in the hotel, we got one big suite, right? We was still broke. We was kind of <laughs> we was kind of getting a little uh, bit yeah, of money, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? They so see you. We was like, man, we got a little suite, you know what I'm saying? But all eight of us, we gonna sleep in this room. Some people hit the floor, some people get in the bed. We got the little sofa bed, we gonna thug it out like that. So 12 o'clock come around, young boy dropped the album. Number one, okay, that's us. Everybody sleep but me. I'm up. Of course. Number two. Okay, that's us. Three. That's us. Four. That's us. Mm. Five. That's us. Six. That's us. Seven. That's <laughs> us. Hold on. Let me just. Maybe I'm wow. tripping. Maybe I'm half sleep. Uh -huh. All eight songs was us. I was wow. like, yo. That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So that was like the turning point of like double A and this is the sound having like that whole household name because people knew from the Kodak, mm -hmm. but our relationship like, or the music kind of stopped. And it wasn't because of Kodak. It was because of jail and stuff, the, wasn't it? No, the no. label. 
The label, really? The label was like... But they, they tripped out? They was like, yo, yo, Kodak, man, you know, double A's hard, but, you know, it's other producers that can turn you up. And Kodak was like, nah, like, I'm going to rock with who I'm rocking with. You know what I'm saying? And then he did got one record, and it went viral on Instagram, and I guess... You know what I'm saying? The label was like, nah, let's go in a different direction, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we just kind of just yeah. locked in somewhere else, you know what I'm saying, at the time. But everything has its expiration the Evolution. Date. You in know and what I'm saying? How long did it take between Kodak and NBA? Like, to meet? To, from, like, yeah, for, for the beat? Going here and then him contacting you. How yeah. many? Like the different, the, the, yeah. the relationship. Like oh, the relationships. Yeah. They, they was like. They was, they was running was hand it back to back? Because Kodak was in jail at the time. Okay. So like, it just happened. Like, I don't. Because I know you were in college at both times. Yeah, so, so it never stopped. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. okay. it was like Kodak was happening and then that happened at the same time. But then things kind of got a little funny. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But. It's like, all it's favor, man. Yeah. I know that's what I was about to say. That's dope a blessing. Favor, it just bro. it just yeah, came like dope. that. You know what I'm saying? And, and then you and then you dope like like but your work ethic again. Yeah. I always go back to work ethic because yeah. your work ethic is what's gonna make everything happen. Is you keep working. Look how fast yeah. you just jump right on it. Yeah. That ain't no mm. ain't normal, nigga. That's Facts. a gift. Facts. Facts. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.